Welcome to my channel. This time, I will be showing you solutions on the problems about isothermal condition and isentropic process as properties of fluids, under fluid mechanics. But before that, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell, after you watch this video. This time, we will be solving this problem. If 10 cubic meters of an ideal gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals is compressed to 2 cubic meters. What is the resulting pressure assuming isothermal conditions? What would have been the pressure and temperature if the process is isentropic? Use adiabatic exponent value to be 1.5. The very first thing we need to identify are the given. We have our initial volume of 10 cubic meter, our final volume of 2 cubic meter, our initial pressure of 100 kilopascal, our initial temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, and lastly, our adiabatic exponent, symbolized by k of 1.5. What is required in the problem is the final pressure, or P2, in isothermal condition. And the final pressure, P2 and final temperature, are T2, in isentropic process. After identifying the given and the required in the problem, let us proceed to our solution. We begin solving the final pressure in isothermal condition. To solve for that, we will be using the formula, initial pressure multiplied to final volume is equal to the product of the final pressure and the final volume. We derive the formula to obtain the value of the final pressure. We have, final pressure is equal to the quotient of the product of the initial pressure and the initial volume all over the final volume. We already have the values for each so we simply use direct substitution. We now have, Final pressure is equal to our initial pressure of 100 kilopascal, multiplied to the initial volume of 10 cubic meter, all over the final volume of 2 cubic meter. We simply solve and the value for our final pressure is 500 kilopascal absolute. That is now the solution in solving for the final pressure in isothermal condition. Next, we proceed solving the final pressure and final temperature for isentropic process. We begin solving the value for our final pressure. To solve for final pressure in isentropic process, we will use the formula, initial pressure multiplied to initial volume raised to the adiabatic exponent is equal to the final pressure multiplied to final volume raised to adiabatic exponent. We substitute values since it is already given. We have, initial pressure of 100 kilopascal, multiplied to the initial volume of 10 cubic meter, raised to the adiabatic exponent of 1.5 is equal to the final pressure multiplied to the final volume of 2 cubic meter raised to the adiabatic exponent of 1.5. We derive this equation to obtain the final pressure. We have, 100 kilopascal multiplied to 10 cubic meter raised to 1.5, all over 2 cubic meter raised to 1.5. We simply solve and we have the answer for our final pressure of 1118.03 kilopascal absolute. After determining our final pressure, we can now solve for our final temperature. To solve for final temperature in isentropic process, we use the formula, final temperature all over the initial temperature is equal to the final pressure all over the initial pressure raised to adiabatic exponent minus 1 all over the adiabatic exponent. We simply substitute the values and we have, final temperature all over the initial temperature of 25 degrees Celsius converted to Kelvin by simply adding 273 is equal to the final pressure of 1118.03 kilopascal all over the initial pressure of 100 kilopascal raised to the adiabatic exponent of 1.5 minus 1, all over 1.5. We simply solve and we have final temperature all over the converted initial temperature of 298 kelvin is equal to 2.24. We derive to obtain final temperature. We have a final answer now for our temperature in isentropic process of 667.52 Kelvin. If you want to convert it into Celsius, we simply subtract 273, which is 394.52 degrees Celsius. That is now the solution in solving for the value of final temperature in isentropic process. In here, 
I provided a summary of the answers. We have 500 kilopascal absolute as final pressure in our isothermal condition. In isentropic process, we have a final pressure of 1118.03 kilopascal absolute and final temperature of 667.52 in Kelvin or 394.52 in degrees Celsius. If you wish to see more tutorials with regards to fluid mechanics, you can visit in the description box. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell before you exit.